In this video, I will show you how to create not one, but three splash animations to totally impress your next clients. Let's dive right into it. And if you want to follow along this video, as always, you can find the Figma link in the description below. To add the fade-in effect to the elements on the homepage, all we need to do is to copy this. And then we need to move the elements and change the opacity to zero. I'll move this element upward, maybe here. And then change this path through to zero. And then I'll move these three elements down, maybe here. And then change these to zero. After that, all we need to do is to go to prototype and connect these two. Here we're going to use after delay. We're going to use the minimum that is one millisecond and then smart animate, maybe 250. Let's try it. I think it looks good. Now let's create the waves that we're going to need for the animation. And I know there are a couple of plugins that we can use to create waves on Figma, but I couldn't find any that will create the ones I need for, for this animation. So I'll create them manually using the pen tool. And don't worry, I know the pen tool can be scary sometimes, but trust me, this is very simple. All we need to do is to create some triangles, maybe four points. And don't worry about the size, we can adjust it later. And then we're going to close the loop. And then selecting the component, we add some border radius, maybe 200. And as you can see, we already have the waves here, as easy as that. I'll increase it a little more. And then, of course, I don't want a stroke. And I'll create a copy and change the color of the one on the background. And let's make this a component so that it's easier for us to, to work with this later or to edit later. I'll frame selection and make a component. I'll call this waves. Now I'll change the color of this one to pure white. Now let's create the first splash animation. I'll create a frame and I want these to be 90 pixels and 90 pixels here. And we want these to be round. So I will make the border radius 100. Then I'll create a, an instance of my wave component and I will move it inside my new frame. And of course I want this to be visible. So we'll uncheck the clip component. And I, I think these waves are a little too big right now. So I will press K and I scale it down maybe like this. And to move your waves inside your frame, I recommend you to use the keyboard and press shift and any arrow, because otherwise it will move out of your frame every time you move. It can be a little bit annoying. And we're gonna position this so that it's almost visible like this. And now we can select the frame and make it a component and create a new variant. Of course, we want this to be visible and we need to add more space between these variants. So I will make this an outer layout and add a spacing of maybe 400. I don't want this to be white because we're going to use it on a, on a black background. So I will make it dark gray. I have a dark gray color shape here. Same for this one. For this one, I need to move it to the left. I'm pressing shift and and the left arrow and then when I reach the border I move up a little bit so I have the frame to be completely white at the end and now I select my my frame clip content same for this one clip content and now all we need to do is to animate let's go to prototype connect these two this will be after delayed one millisecond and we want this to be a smart animate is out and the duration will be 3.5k milliseconds. And now to test it, let's create a frame and I will use iPhone 13 mini. Let's call this splash one. And I will make this black. I'll drag this here. I'll center. And now I'll create a flow, make it easier to test splash one. Let's see how it looks. Hey, I think this looks really good. Now to complete this splash animation, I need to connect this with my homepage. But before that, I want to make a copy of this because we're going to use it for the other splash animations too. So I will call it homepage original. 
and I want to make a copy of my circle on this page because I want to have a last animation of the circle. And I will press K to scale it and I will make it bigger, maybe like this. And then as the same as the other elements, I will change the opacity to zero. Now all we need to do is to connect this to this. We're going to make this after delay. This has been like a trial and error. So I know that 3000 works very well. And then we're going to use a smart animate is out in 400 milliseconds. These numbers probably can be different for you. Depends on how your wave looks. So let's give it a try. Awesome. To create the second splash animation, we're going to be a little bit lazy. So we're going to use the splash that we already built. I will drag this version here. I will drag this variant here. Then select these two, detach instant. Now we're going to adjust the colors a little bit. So I will uncheck clip content. And I want this to be, instead of dark gray, to be pure white. And the same for this one. And I want the waves to be black instead of pure white. Now all we need to do is to put the letter in front of my circle and it can work with any letter that has a circle and for the font I'm using auto white 150 pixels. Then I select these two and create a frame. I'll select my, my letter. I'll do the same here. I'm pressing space so my letter doesn't go inside my circle and I want them to be center. Then I select these two again and frame selection. And now I will select the circle and clip content. So I don't see my giant wave anymore. And now I select these two new elements and create component set. And now for the animation, we need something similar. So select this, go to prototype. And this will be again after delay, one millisecond, that is the minimum. And this time I try and 4,000 works better because my, my space is smaller. So 4,000 gives us a little more time to see the wave animation. And again, to try it, let's create a new frame. Create an instant of my component center to test it better, I'll create a flow, call it splash two, and let's give it a try. Awesome. And now to complete the animation, I will create a copy of my original homepage. But this time I will create a copy of the queue here. Again, center, increase the size, and let's change the opacity to zero. Now let's connect these two. After delay, this time let's try 3.5K. Smart animate, and this will be 400 milliseconds. Let's see the prototype again. Awesome. The third splash animation is my favorite, but before going into that, if you're liking this video so far, please smash that like button below. It will take you one second and it will really, really help my channel. Unfortunately, we cannot reuse our first component for this last splash animation because we need a mask effect. So I have a text and of course you can use the text you need. For the mask effect, we're going to use a rectangle. And I found it easier to work with if this rectangle has the size of my frame. In this case, I'm using an iPhone 13 mini. They will be 375 and 812. I need this to be pure black. To mask, I'll put this on top and move it in the center. So I'll select these two elements and center them. Then select these two elements again and go here and subtract selection. Now I will create a frame again for, for testing, and this will be iPhone 13 mini again. But this time, instead of pure black, I will make it the my, my dark gray, because that will be the initial color of my font, because this one doesn't have a color. I'll change the name to Splash 3. Now I will create an instance of my, of my wave. 
And again, we need to scale it down. Maybe like this. Now I'll create a frame selecting my, my mask component. Because I want the frame to have the size of this mask component. I don't want to include the, the wave yet. So I'll select this frame selection. And then now I will move the wave inside my frame. And let's position the wave close to my text. Be barely visible like this. Now I'll select the frame and create component. Make a variant. I will uncheck this to see the content. And now I'll position my wave on the second variant. Now select these two, clip content. Let's add the animation. Let's go to prototype. Connect these two. Again, we're going to use after delay one millisecond. And for this one, I, I tested and I, I think 3000 works better. So now I'll create an instant. Before that, I will change the name to splash three. And then I'll put this inside my testing frame, center this. Now let's give it a try. And to finish the splash animation, I will do the same, create a copy of my home page here, then drag the component here and I will center it. And again, I want to make it bigger. So I'll press K, make it maybe like this and same as the other splash animations. I will change these to zero. Now I'll connect these two. Again, after delayed, and we're using 3000, so maybe 2.8. And this will be is out for 100 milliseconds. Again, let's see the prototype. I think we can make it faster, so maybe 2.6. And as simple as that, we build three different types of splash animations that will totally enhance your app experience. I hope you found it helpful. And if you want to learn more about Figma and product design, follow me and see you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.